Hi friends, I'm going to today uh, take you through one SQL interview question. This question is primarily on the business, uh, the bus seat booking logic. Okay, so we are going to see that problem. For that, I will first uh, share the scenario. In a bus, few tickets are booked and remaining seats are available. The booking system will only allow a female passenger to book the empty seats which are adjacent to another female seat. Right? So that's how today if you see any uh, red bus dot in or uh, other bus uh, booking system. Right? Apps if you see they will uh, mark in a different color. Right? Adj which are adjacent to female passenger. So the male passengers are not supposed to book the tickets. The system will allow, but uh, they will question if we book. But here the question is, in this kind of system, we need to write a SQL query to list down all the empty available seats which are adjacent to female passenger booked seat. Okay. Just for our understanding, I am going to just draw this layout so that we all can understand. So this is a typical bus seat layout and this is a front side and this is a rear side and here is where the driver seat will be there and it starts from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 it goes this this way right so bus ticket bus seat numbers go numbers goes like this and uh, these mts are the ones which are available not booked and mr booked to for male and fr booked for female okay and 3 and 6 are the seat numbers, right? This is for the seat. And this F, this 5 is for this uh, seat, which is booked for female, okay? So like this, all these seats are booked and marked with M and F for the confirmed books. And for the remaining seats are available. And uh, I have, just for our understanding, I have marked in pink color. So these are the pink color empty seats that are available exclusively for female passengers. So our query is supposed to get the result of all these pink, pink marked seat numbers. Okay. So that is the question. So it's, is it clear? I hope you know the requirement, the interview question is clear to all of us. So for this, now I'm going to take you to a SQL database and I'm going to create a table. Okay, so since I have already created a table, I am just going to drop the table and I am creating a table. I am calling this table as a bus seat and the seat number and it's occupied, whether it is occupied or not with a bit character. Okay, zero means it's available, one means it's occupied, it's booked by someone else. Okay, and gender is a bit again, it male means zero, female means one. Okay. So assume that uh, this is a simple table that I'm creating for our scenario. And now I'm going to insert records based on the layout that we have seen. So for example, in this example, the first seat is empty, right? Second seat is booked for male. So I'm inserting first seat. This is a seat number. This is empty. And the third column doesn't ma matter because it's empty, right? So I'm just marking it as zero. Similarly, the second record is booked and it is booked for male. Okay, so I'm keeping it as a occupied one and it is for male. And third seat, if you see in this example, third is for male, female, right? So I'm keeping the third record occupied and booked for female, right? So like this, for the entire 36 seats, I have created the data set I am inserting into the table. Okay, so with the insert into statement, you see now 36 rows are ins inserted. So if I select this table, let's see, select star from bus seat, order by seat number. Okay, so we are going to see all three values. First, the seat is not occupied. Second seat is occupied by a male. Third seat is occupied by a female. Okay, and so on. So like this, we have created a record for all 36 seats. 
so before solving the problem so we need to we need to go step by step approach right so the question that they are, what they are asking is we need to find a seat empty seat we need to find an empty seat okay which are adjacent to female passenger okay and for that the first step is we need to find see we need to find seats which are booked for females okay so now i'm just checking i'm getting with occupied equal to one so the seat seat should be occupied and it is occupied by a female passenger okay booked by a female passenger i am only applying a filter and i am getting so if if you see there are around 13 seats are booked by females so far so if i go back to this layout you see you now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and uh, there is one more i missed i think so there are 13 seats right so here it is listing 13 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 yeah there are 13 seats it's showing the seats that are occupied to occupied by female that's the first step now we have a record set because we need to find the adjacent c empty seats that's what we need right so then the second step is find so before we, now we have this f and uh, these seats right so we need to find the adjacent seat is empty or not if it is empty then uh, that is the answer but at the same time so the adjacent seats means 9 is also adjacent to 8 right so we should not consider this scenario we should only consider 7 and 8 right so similarly we should only consider 5 and 6 for seat number 5 we should not consider 4 as such because even though that, that is an adjacent number but it's not adjacent seat right for adjacent seat we need to go with two set two approach if the if the, pick up all odd numbers for example this is a odd number right 5 for all five odd numbers 5 then the adjacent number is 6 right so it is next seat is plus 1 it is always plus 1 for 5 it is 6 for 7 it is 8 so that is how the adjacent numbers are for odd number seat okay so what i am doing is first i am taking the all odd number seats so how do you find odd number seats with the mod function of 2 okay so when we put mod of 2 the remainder we will get 1 for odd number right so that's what i am doing this is for mod operator to get the to get the uh, e odd number with one remainder value of 1 okay so now if i filter it is giving those female passenger seats which are numbered which are odd numbered right so previously if you remember there were 13 seats now it is showing only 8 records because only 8, eight seats are odd numbered okay so for odd number seat for example uh, i am considering 5 is an odd number female seat whereas 8 is a even number seat so in this query we have got 5 so let's see the result we have got 3 and 5 so if you see 3 is also a female passenger seat 5 is also a female passenger seat okay so now the next step is to find whether the next seat is empty so if you see here 3 and 5 we have got in the result set whereas for 3 the adjacent seat 4 is not empty we need to get only 6 okay so for that what we should do is seat number plus 1 so the seat number plus 1 is it empty is what we need to find out so for that what i am going to do it is i am going to do a self join i am going to self join the same business bus seat and the adjacent seat what i am doing i am incrementing it by 1 okay so i am taking the next seat okay not the previous seat i am taking the next seat okay so next seat is plus 1 right so the next seat we can find it through plus 1 for seat number 5 it will get seat number 6 okay and one more condition is we we take only if it is a 
take it only if it is a an empty seat that will give us the answer with b equal to b dot occupied is equal to 0 will fetches only the occupy the empty seats okay you do you i am repeating the query it's a self join i am joining two tables because this is coming from one table and this record the next deck record is coming from another table okay self join i am doing the join condition is the seat is the next seat not the previous seat okay so seat number is equal to seat number plus one okay so this a will give you the female occupied seat and b gives you as the empty seat if this condition is satisfied then we are going to get the get our answers okay so you see it is it has ignored seat number three because the next seat is not it's a it's not an empty seat whereas for five six is an empty seat whereas for um next uh, let's say for 17 18 is empty so if we have got 17 okay and then we have got uh, this will not come because this is even number seat for 23 also we will get 24 is empty yeah 24 now we also see we can see the female seat occupied seat adjacent seat and this is the empty seat okay and this gives us the result but this is giving us a partial result because we have considered only the odd numbered female seats we also take even number seats right so for even number seats so for even number seats you see i am taking the i am putting the condition e equal to 0 mod mod of 2 will give remainder 0 for even number even number right so this is the condition now this will give all female seats which are occupied by females and even number and for even number for example for even number that the pairing pairing seat is the previous seat not the next seat right for seat number 8 the the pairing seat right the adjacent is nothing but the previous number next number will be next row so we need to what we need to do we need to join with the seat number minus 1 okay i am taking the previous seat for odd for even number female occupied seat okay if i execute this we are going to we are getting seat number 8 let's see yeah seat number 8 because this is a even number and the previous seat is empty for 22 for 22 also the previous seat is empty and 22 is a even number female seat 32 is also a female seat and the previous seat is an empty seat yes so now we need to we need to combine these two right odd and even seats so for combining we can do union we can do union all that is one approach right simply we can we can union these two we will get the result but here i'm i'm just going with the single query and i'm putting a case statement okay because with a case statement we can we can have a conditions right if the seat is even seat female occupied seat is a even seat then take the previous because that's a condition we have done right for female uh, even number seat for even number seat we have considered this join a, b dot seat number equal to a dot seat number right that's what will happen in case of a even seat whereas a odd seat then the previous condition here is a previous condition is seat number plus one the next seat yeah so that condition i but put it in the inside the case statement inside the join so now we are going to get for both even and uh, odd numbered seed so 6 7 18 so now you see it's giving 6 7 18 24 yeah, 30 so it is giving us the result so this is the query that is the answer for the interview question that they've asked okay so this i've just given step by step approach so that you know you all can follow easily i've also written one alternate approach right so union is another approach that i already talked about there is one more approach where i can use a correlated subquery so correlated subquery the same condition so you see the same condition instead of putting a direct join what i am doing it is i am just making it as exists and then 
I am moving that into a where condition in a correlated subquery. So just to explain this correlated subquery, so what I am doing is I am only taking the free empty seeds first. I am taking all empty seeds and then I am just checking whether the adjacent seat is a female seat or not because this is an occupied seat. This will give us the occupied seats and this will give only female seats. Right? So, this is empty seats. So, what I am doing in this query is I am considering all empty seats in the outer query. Okay? And one by one I am just checking whether the adjacent seat is a female seat. The adjacent seat the definition is previous for so previous for odd number and next seat for even numbered seat. Okay, so that is the condition. So with this condition, I am only they asked for the empty seats, right? List of empty seats. So this is going to give the same results that we have. 6, 7 till 36. We are getting the results. Okay. So now we have seen three approach, right? So one is direct join with the uh, with the case statement and other approach is I will just give the union right so because so that it's clear so let let me give the third approach also which is based on the union statement okay I've just copy I'm copy pasting union statement union statement right so I'm going to simply put a union I'm just combining both the result set okay and let's remove all other information because we don't need that right we all need only the seat number empty seat number right and uh, okay i think here we need b dot seat because b is the empty seat okay so let's see these the answer the result set of this so again the same eight seats empty seat 6 7 18 21 right just to clarify just to verify yeah 6 7 18 all the way through 36 so in for this example we have seen three approach okay so first approach is a join and i have just put a case statement case conditional join second approach is correlated subquery in the same conditional case join and third approach is a union right union also performs the same operation okay With that, uh, now I um, come to the end of the uh, presentation. So I hope this information is very useful and you, know, you, you could learn something on how to solve this bus seat layout kind of approach. So one thing that I would say, whenever you have a related two records, two data that you need to compare, two rows you need to compare. So here we are comparing two rows, right? Two seats. So whenever we need to compare two seats, you can go for correlated subquery because we need to relate two records, right? So that's that that is a tip that I could say that whenever you or you get into a situation where two records needs to be compared, right? Go for a correlated subquery that will help you solve this problem. Okay, with that I'm I'm kind of ending this session. Thank you all. If you like the session, subscribe my channel. So I'm planning to uh, put more such videos to uh, share on the SQL entry questions and uh, SQL features and SQL project ideas. Thank you.